All right, let's go. I'm from New Orleans, baby. So when it comes to making authentic New Orleans dishes, I have more than four decades bringing that NOLA flavor all across the country. But here's a secret. I'm about to stun you with how easy it is to make these world-renowned dishes for any gathering or event. With that said, welcome to Southern Soul Bistro NOLA, cooking with Chef Kim, or as my family calls me, Chef Kimmy. Welcome to Cooking with Chef Kim of Southern Soul Bistro Nola. We have some goodies today. We're cooking New Orleans style stuffed bell peppers. You know they're going to be good. Tell your friends to tune in. Let's go. Today, we're going to be making it fresh from scratch. Y'all have to try it. Follow the recipe. It's in the cookbook. It's available on the website. But look at all these fresh ingredients here. Always fresh never frozen the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ground some beef we have some fresh ground beef we're going to start browning it we have fresh onion fresh green peppers look at that garlic fresh garlic chopped up a little green onion salads as some people call it this is that southern soul bistro nola spices right here it's called gnarlins yeah we have a little creole we have some onion powder and garlic powder and some parsley. I have some more ingredients for y'all. Let me show you. So this is a pound of ground beef. Season it, brown it. You don't have to cook it to a crisp, but brown it. You, wanna, you don't wanna see any pink in it. Just brown it. As if you browning ground beef for spaghetti or something, just brown it. In here, this, now this is one of my favorites. This is that Jimmy Dean pork sausage. You can substitute it. This is just a small tool, which is about one pound. Mix it with your ground beef after you cook it. You can substitute this dish with your favorite meat. You don't have to use pork. If you don't eat pork, you can use ground turkey. You can use deer sausage, ground, ground it. Use it, whatever your favorite is, that's what you use. This recipe doesn't have to be difficult. The recipe is in the cookbook, but you can create your own. Be creative in the kitchen. I always do. Using fresh ingredients is the key. So I'm gonna get a pot holder. Let me press this in. Okay, I'm gonna incorporate the ground beef. I'm gonna grab the pork sausage. Let me get all of that. Look at all them drippings. Let me get all of that. That's where the seasoning is. Yeah, look at that. It's not gonna hurt nothing. Ooh, this is a heavy pan. Look at that pork sausage. Yeah. Ooh, this is gonna be good. This dish goes well with everything. You can eat this with holiday meals, Sunday dinner, at parties, you name it. I have friends and family who call to request these stuffed peppers at any given time. Okay, so this is fresh lump crab meat. There's no, you put as much of it in here as you want to. Look at those lumps. Or as little as you want. If you're allergic to seafood, you can substitute it with chicken too. Whatever your preference is. But you know in New Orleans, we love seafood. The more, the merrier. Hold up, that's not it, I ain't finished. Hold up, I got something else for y'all. Look at here. Look at those shrimps. Fresh shrimps, clean in the vein. Always clean them in the vein them now. Y'all don't wanna get nothing extra. Look at here. Look at the shrimps. Every bite of this stuffed pepper, you will have a shrimp. Look at that, look how fresh. Ooh, that's nice. Okay, so. You know what? I think I'm gonna run into a problem here with mixing. I'm gonna keep trying, y'all. Let's see how this goes. 
Look at that. Look at the meat and the seafood and a crab. Look how the crab meat is lumping, it's breaking up. Look at it. You can't go wrong with it. This is gonna be a masterpiece, y'all. This is fresh onions, always fresh. That frozen stuff, it's gonna be full of water. It's gonna take some of the flavor away. I've been cooking this dish for a very, very, very long time. Everybody love it. I've been cooking for over 40 years. Cooking isn't a chore for me, I enjoy it. This is my life. I've fed many people from all walks of life. I've catered birthday parties, wedding parties, you name it. Look at that garlic, fresh garlic. You can't go wrong with that. Last but not least, this is some fresh green onion. Some people call it Charlotte's. In New Orleans, we call it green onion. It's fresh as well. Take five minutes and cut up that season and it makes a difference in the way your food tastes. Look, I have to hold, I have to hug this bowl, y'all, because <laughs> it's overflowing. Ooh, this is gonna be good. Now, this same dish, you can make it as a dressing. Put it in a pan, spray that pan and put some olive oil at the bottom. Get you some full, some whole green peppers and cut them in chunks and lay them in the bottom of that pan. You take this dressing and lay it on top, sprinkle the top with breadcrumbs and bake it. And there you have it. Look at it, y'all. Look at those fresh vegetables. Look at the crab meat. Look at the ground beef, the pork sausage. Let me tell you something. <laughs> You cook this, I promise you, your family's going to be ringing your phone asking for more. Wait until y'all see the finished product. Because I'm not finished yet. The best is yet to come. It smells delicious. What I'm going to do is before I change pans, I'm going to add a little bit of that Creole to it. You don't need much. You don't want to overpower it. Add a little bit at a time. Fresh onion powder. This is that Nolens, y'all. Southern Soul Bistro Nolens. This is granulated garlic. The more garlic. You know what? Let me add a little bit more. A little bit more. Yeah, the more garlic, the better. And this is parsley flakes. Okay, let me mix this a little bit. And now, I will have to change. I'm going to put this in a pan and mix it. And you know what? I'm about to show y'all something. I'm gonna show you how I really get down in the kitchen. Give me one moment here. Okay, y'all, this has gotten very heavy. I'm gonna put this in a pan. Look at there. Ooh, wee. There's more to come. The consistency is what I have to put together to make sure that your pepper is not too soggy, it's not too dry you have to have the right consistency that crab meat does take up a lot of the um the water from your stuffing look at it i could bake this just like that look at it I, look this that's a dressing i could sprinkle some breadcrumbs on top put it in the oven i promise y'all yeah that's what they say in new orleans Ooh -wee. And then they do like this, I'm ready to eat. Yeah, I'm ready to eat. Let me spray this pan right quick. Okay, these are your green peppers, multicolor peppers. You cut them in half. I ball these in plain water, 15 minutes. You want them to get a little soft, but you don't want them to tear. That is the whole pepper, the half pepper. Cut them in half, stick out the inside. Look at the consistency. I have orange, you can use orange. I have yellow, you can use red, it's your choice. Guess what? This is what I didn't tell y'all. This stuffing, I've used the same stuffing at parties and stuffed them in jalapenos and baked them. Delicious, that's a hors d'oeuvre. A New Orleans style hors d'oeuvre. We're going to have a lot of tricks of the trade. I learned to cook by scratch. I never cook with a recipe 
Everything was taste, texture, and sight. Even though I have this mix, I've measured my ingredients, I have to taste it. I have that authentic New Orleans palette that don't go wrong. So I need to taste it to be sure that I have the right amount of spices and vegetables to balance it. So here we go. You're, you're, not, you're not eating a raw shrimp. Crab meat is already processed. All I have here is the meat, but the flavor is in the meat. So I need to taste it to be sure that I have the right amount of spices and vegetables. Here we go. This is delicious. <laughs> Y'all gonna make me slap my make me slap myself. This is so good, but even tasting it, I know what it needs. I'm gonna add a little bit more onion powder. I'm gonna add some of that Nolens Creole seafood spice. Yeah, look, yeah, Nolens gonna make it better. I promise you. This is a little Creole. You don't want to add too much because you don't want it to be salty. You can add salt, but you can't take away salt. This is the last of the granulated garlic. I'm going to use that all. Use it all in. Here we go. A little bit more parsley. Let's mix that. You know what? I have on a fresh pair of gloves. I'm about to mix this New Orleans style. Let me show you something. Since all of these spices have to be mixed, I have some Italian breadcrumbs. Add it. Add a little bit at a time. This is seafood stock. Add a little seafood stock. You don't have to use it all. You want to use a little bit at a time to be sure that you don't oversaturate it. And look, mix it. This is your dish. Mix it. Put on some gloves or wash them hands. Get in there and mix that up. Yes, it's coming together well. I might spill a little bit, but I, I'm not going to waste it. I promise. It's too good to waste. This is so good. <laughs> I might just slap myself. If you guys can smell it. Now, let me show you something. I want to I teach you something right quick. Those peppers hold water. So you don't want your stuffing to be too loose. You want it more stiff. Because when you stuff it inside of the pepper and bake it, it's going to loosen some. So I'm going to add some more bread, but I'm not adding any more of the stock. Here we go. I'm going to add a little bit more bread and mix. You notice I added just a little bit. You don't want to add too much because you'll be repeat, repeating the process over and over and over, and that's so unnecessary. I can feel it as I'm mixing it, that it's thickening up. You don't want it thick to the point, it's like glue in your mouth. No, you don't want that. But what you do want is the proper consistency. It's actually, I mean, it's stuffed peppers. Some people call it a dressing. <laughs> Some people call it just that, a stuffed pepper. Um, it has been nicknamed a lot of stuff. Um, as I said, you can bake it as a dressing or you can stuff it inside of that pepper, but I'm going to stuff it inside of the pepper. This dish, this is, I know that this is delicious. I keep saying it and I mean it. It makes me want to slap myself. Being from New Orleans, cooking in Texas is different. It's different flavors, different flavors, different palates. But guess what? See this dish here? Even Texas. You, I could go to Washington. I could go to Pennsylvania with it. I can go to New York or California. They're going to enjoy this. I promise you. Now, let me show you something. I've added all of the rest of the bread, which was about two cups. Look at the consistency now. Look at it. You see the difference? Look at the difference in the consistency. It's thicker. Now, let me show you how it looks in the pepper. What you do is you can, you can use a spoon, put some more gloves on, use your hand, whatever your choice is. Scoop it. This is all you're doing. You're stuffing it in the pepper, in this cooked pepper, like that. You can, you can mount it. Look, you know what, y'all? 
these hands is clean. Let me do this. Let me do it how, how we do it in New Orleans. Let's cook. This is absolutely amazing. Look how good it looks. And this is what a New Orleans style stuffed pepper looks like. That's it. Smells good, looks good, and guess what? Top it off with a few more of them breadcrumbs. You're gonna put this in the oven. You're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for like 15, 20 minutes. Uncovered. Do not cover it, allow it to brown. Your shrimp, your crab meat, and everything is gonna cook together. And guess what? When you eat it, you can eat the pepper too because it's tender. Eat your vegetables. We're just adding breadcrumbs on top. Those breadcrumbs are gonna brown while these peppers are cooking. This is the way it looks. These are gonna be amazing. They smell delicious. I hope you guys follow this recipe. Tell me how you like it. You guys will be able to comment on the show get feedback. I'm happy that you guys are here. This is the final product. This is New Orleans style stuffed peppers by Southern Soul Bistro Nola. This is the way they look. Let me see what it tastes like. Look at that. Look at the moisture. Look, you can see the crab meat, you can see the shrimp. Look, all those fresh vegetables. It's hot too, fresh out the oven. Let me taste it. Woo, I'm gonna slap myself, yes. This is delicious. Listen to me, y'all. Y'all have to try it. Try it for yourself. This is amazing. The fresh vegetables, the onions, the peppers, the garlic, you can taste it in every bite. This dish is delicious. Mm. This is New Orleans stuffed bell peppers. Mm. My palate is happy. This is so delicious. This is Chef Kimmy signing off. I'm going to slap myself. This is Southern Soul Bistro Nola Seven Cheese Baked Macaroni. That's right, we are cooking a seven cheese baked macaroni. This is New Orleans style. Oh my, you guys are in for a treat today. You know, this is gonna put a little twist on a traditional spaghetti and cheese. That's not baked macaroni. We have fresh cheeses. We have seven different cheeses that's freshly grated. They're cooked down, and I'm gonna show you how it's done. You can't go wrong with this one. Yeah, I'm in Texas, but I'm an authentic New Orleans cook. Look at that goodness. You'll enjoy it. Follow me. I'm gonna teach you some new tricks of the trade. You want some authentic Creole Cajun food? We got you over here. As New Orleans say, I'm gonna give you a little lane yap. Look at that delicious, and we gonna bake this all. Wait till you see the finished product. Oh yeah, I'm a foodie. I love food, I love creativity. Make this dish your own. Some of my most fondest memories is the food that my mother used to create. Her ability to create a meal out of anything. She had to prepare supper for not only me and my siblings, but she had to prepare for other family members, friends, neighbors, you name it. Anytime anyone came to our house, my mother had something hot and delicious on the stove. She would feed any and everybody. Thankfully, my mother never ran out of food shortage either. 
Not that I know of. I can't remember a day that we went without a hot meal. Oh, you wasn't running to get fast foods. You was running to get some of mama great cooking. She could make a simple meal or gourmet experience. I thank God that my mother had the ability to prepare meals in such a delicious way. See this baked macaroni and cheese? You can eat this with some fried fish, some potato salad. Oh yeah, in New Orleans they call that a supper. Put some peas on the side with some bread. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Look at that. Delicious. This macaroni, I promise you, when you cook it for your family during the holidays, parties, um, suppers, soul food Sundays, you're gonna enjoy this one. I promise you that. This baked macaroni and cheese is so good. Don't add those bacon bits to it, please. That is not authentic New Orleans cooking. Oh, that's delicious. Let me tell you something. This is not the traditional spaghetti and cheese. This is not the traditional box macaroni and cheese. This is homemade. Look at that goodness. This makes me want to slap myself. Bake this in a pan at 350 degrees for 20 minutes. Your family will enjoy this. Even the kids love this macaroni and cheese. The kids will eat it with hot dogs. They'll eat it with burgers. They'll eat it with chicken nuggets. I promise you, you prepare this dish, your friends, family, loved ones, they will be quite pleased. They'll be asking for more. Any seven cheese that you choose to add into this dish, it will be delicious. But let me tell you a little secret. Add some smoked gouda to it, some smoked cheddar, and some monster. Those three cheeses, add it to four other cheeses, whichever your choice is. Whew, words can't even describe how delicious it is. You can pair it along with these delicious stuffed peppers that I've just created. You can put it alongside of some chicken, some chops, how about some roast? Whatever you choose to serve it with. Oh, and let me say this. Don't forget to add heavy whipping cream, a little sour cream, just a tad bit of evaporated milk, some real butter, and be sure and sprinkle it with some garlic powder and some onion powder and just a dab of black pepper. You wanna add some parsley to it, make it a little fancy and add some parsley to it too. You wanna use some heavy whipping cream, some sour cream, and some pure butter? Add a little garlic powder and onion powder to it, baby. I promise you, your family is gonna enjoy this one. It will complement any dish that you cook. This baked macaroni and cheese is so good, it makes me wanna slap myself. This recipe is available in my cookbook. Go to www dot southern soul bistro nola dot com and get your copy that's a wrap y'all i'll see y'all next week same place same time different dish i'm about to go slap myself thank you all for tuning in to cooking with chef kim of southern soul bistro nola the cookbook is available at over forty five thousand locations near you and it's available on the website Go and get those spices. They're available on the website as well, which is southernsoulbistronola.com. Go and follow me on Facebook. Follow me on Instagram. That's Southern Soul Bistro Nola, baby. We also have a YouTube page coming soon. See you all next week. Same time, same place. Love you, baby.